All right, everybody on YouTube, your boy Memphis is back with more card talks. We have a whole bunch of new cards from YGO Pro, and we're going to be taking a look at them. Uh, Red Nova Dragon is not one of them, but there is a retrain of Red Nova, so we're going to be looking at that in a minute. You know, let's, um, that's uh, the extra next two cards. Let's look at them first. So we got ourselves the new Red Supernova Dragon. You can tell it's new because it's got the word super in it. Level 12 Dark Dragon Synchro, 4,000 attack and 3,000 defense. Needs three tuners and a non-tuner. So, requires even more than Nova. What does this one do? Has to be first Synchro Summoned. Gain 500 for every tuner in the grave. So, immediate 1,500 point boost. Pretty nice. Can't be destroyed by opponent's card effects, but it can be targeted by them. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect or an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card and all cards your opponent controls. Damn, sucker. Oh, also, that's a quick effect, so that's pretty dang sick. That's pretty dang good. Uh, also, once per turn, during the end, next end phase, he comes back, of course. So, basically, it's a straight upgrade over the Red Nova Dragon. Um, you know, banishing your opponent's entire board, non-targeting and all that. Pretty dang good. I mean, all it is, your opponent activates any card effect, and you just lose their board. Uh, so, pretty dang powerful monster. Really hard to summon with three tuners, but I'm sure someone will... Maybe I'll have to try that at some point. Hmm, I'll think about it. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, pretty good retrain. I like it. Uh, it's definitely better than the original uh, in a lot of ways. So, I like it. Good job, Konami. You did a good job today. Uh, we also have the new Link 5 Boreland Dragon, a dark Link 5 monster. Uh, this guy has arrows pointing everywhere, but in the upper corners. He's 3,500 attack, and his effect, or well, he summoned with three effect monsters. Okay, this card's effect is, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, and neither player can target this card with card effects. The original Borlo Dragon can get around this. Okay. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Okay. Quickie effect, you can target an effect monster on the field, then a rocket in the grave. Negate the effects of the monster, and then special summon that rocket from the grave. But again, you can't target Borlo Dragon. Am I, am I mistaken? I'm pretty sure I'm not mistaken about that one. Can I be targeted with monster effects? So, yeah, this loses to this. You can just attack into this. With this, steal this. So, I mean, I guess if you had one of the rockets that destroyed stuff when you targeted it, but, you know, other than that, uh, oh, there's more. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to this card's effect activation. You can only use this effect once per... Okay. So, all in all, it's a cool monster. I can't tell where its bloody head is in this artwork. I guess that's... His, oh, there's his head. Barely can see it. It's a nice Link 5. Good for rockets, of course. Um, again, Borlo will get around it. Not much else will, but Borl will get around it. So, I play a copy of it in my rocket deck. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, let's go on to the main deck. We have a lot of cards here to look at. First, I do Blue Eyes card, the Deep of Blue Eyes. Uh, this one here is a Searcher. It's a level 8 Light Dragon, 2500 attack and defense. If this card is special summoned at a ritual or a polymerization from deck to hand. It's pretty nice. Uh, use that in conjunction with like Sage with Eyes of Blue. You get a straight up special summon this. You get a search. Not bad at all. Also, during the end phase, you can add a level 8 or higher dragon from deck to hand. Again, good for blue eyes. Search out your blue eyes and other such. So that's pretty good. You can banish this card from the grave. All level 8 or higher dragons gain a 1,000 attack. That's a permanent stat boost. Not that Blue Eyes really need a stat booster, but maybe. You know. So, I can definitely see this being run. I wouldn't run too many copies of it, depending on the build. If you're running, like, uh, Chaos Max Turbo, I'd run two. If I'm running plain old Blue Eyes, I'd probably just run one. But, all in all, it's still a card worth running. And uh, the artwork's nice. And it's actually a white dragon, so that's the thing. Kind of looks like Stardust, to be honest. A little bit. There's, there's a bit of a Stardust vibe to this card. But anyway, the new Crystal Beast Dragon Monster, Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast. Finally, the Crystal Beasts have a dragon. 
That is to say, the dragon is now Crystal Beast. Because when this is destroyed in a monster zone, you can put it in the spell trap zone instead. And it also has the effects. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, when an attack is declared involving a Crystal Beast, either being attacked or attacking, mind you, you can summon this card from your hand. The 3,000 monster you can special summon from the hand. That's pretty good. Uh, what else do you do? You can banish this continuous spell, summon a level 4 or lower crystal beast from the deck, but negate its effects, and if you do, add ultimate crystal monster from deck to hand. Yeah, um, just summon out a crystal beast. Sorry, the carbuncle is not a good choice. But basically, you search out just whatever crystal beast you need to make the OG rainbow dragon work, is the idea behind this. So, again, this is good for crystal beast. I'd run... I'd say two copies, maybe one or two, one or the other. I would say I don't. I wouldn't run three, but I would at least run two. So it's a nice card. Next, we got DDD support, DDD Eulogy King Vice Requiem, a dark level eight pendulum with four scale. It's got twenty hundred attack and two thousand defense. Uh, it has quite a bit of an effect. You can target any number of dark contract cards you control, destroy them, summon this card from the Pendulum Zone. Then you can increase or reduce this card's level by the number of cards you destroyed. You can only do this once per turn. That's already pretty good. Blow up your unnecessary cards, your unnecessary contracts. Special summon this, change its level. Good for Ixseeds and the like. Uh, Ixseeds and Synchros and all the things that DZs like to do. Uh, what else do you do? Cannot special summon monsters with DDDs. DDD that was fusion, synchro, exceed, or linked. All things that DDDs do. Uh, gets this effect. Once per turn, target a card on the field. Shuffle dark contract from field or grave to deck. Pop that card, and then you gain a thousand life points. This is very good. It gives this effect to pretty much any card you would run in a DDD deck. And allows you to pop things, recover things, gain life points back. Pretty good, you know, you know, just activate your dark contract, um, what, what, what you call, I haven't played DDs in forever, the dark contract that lets you search things, search this, activate it, pop your dark contract, summon this, uh, link summon Grugamesh, blow up something, I'm um, skipping ahead of cards here, yeah, there's utility here, and I like it, I would run at least, uh, I, could, I could see running two copies of this, something like that, I don't think it's going to like this make DDD super powerful or anything, but I think it's a decent card. Next, we've got the Galaxy Eyes Aftergrow Dragon, level 8 light dragon, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. If you have a Galaxy Eyes monster, you can summon this from the hand of defense. This card is detached for an Xseed monster to activate that monster's effects. Take a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from hand or deck. Special summon it or attach it as Xseed's material uh, Photon Lord. Uh, pretty good right there. Uh, and then, if this effect was activated during the battle phase, double the attack of all number Xyz monsters you control. That's uh, pretty good. The only use is oh yeah, that is uh, is that a permanent stat boost? Uh, I think that's a yeah, that is a permanent stat boost. That's pretty dang sweet. But yeah, this is obviously something meant to be used on the, the like a Falton Lord or ah uh, shoot number sixty two was it? Uh, I should know this. Yeah, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I know my numbers. Don't tell me I don't. So another pretty good card. I'd run at least two in a Galaxy Eyes deck. Pretty nice. Makes bringing out the link or the rank hates pretty good. Um, Pendulum Mixes is a new spell. Target two cards in the Pendulum Zones. Summon both targets to gate their effects. Immediate activity effects resolve. Exceeds and exceeds using those monsters. You can treat the level of one of those monsters as the other monster's level. Alright. Um, good in theory. Uh, problems being, this is not a quick effect. And unless, oh, the thing is there's some monsters that have specific requirements for their exceed summoning. So, limited pool. Like, if this was a quick effect, I could see this being run in a pretty much any pendulum deck. Because if you're running pendulums and your opponent suddenly starts kicking your butt or something, he could, you know, throw out up a Guska or something to, you know, disrupt your opponent. But you can't do that. So, interesting in theory. Maybe run a copy, but I wouldn't run much more than that. 
Uh, more photons here. Eternal Bond. Target any number of photons in the grave. Summon them, but negate their effects. That is soul charge for photons in trap form. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but regardless, other effect. During main phase, banish this card. Target a photon monster the opponent controls. Take control of it for the rest of this turn. You cannot declare a text with a blah, blah, blah. Okay. So the first effect is obviously the more important one. Your mask, getting your monsters back. You can use them for links and exceeds and all the good stuff. Uh, second effect requires you to give your opponent a photon or you being in a mirror match. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to stick with the first effect there. Uh, next up is an interesting one, the White Mirror card. Uh, target a level 4 lower fish in the grave. Summon it and add a monster with the same original name from deck to hand. Pretty dang good fish support. It's not only Monster Born, it's a searcher. All in one. I mean, it's only once per turn, but it's still pretty dang good. And I like the artwork. That's pretty dang sick artwork, man. I would definitely run at least two, three copies in any fish build. That's pretty dang good. Well, maybe not every fish. You know what I mean. Regardless, Dowsing Fusion. Fusion summon a fusion monster uh, by banishing Pendulum Monsters from the graveyard. Uh, moving on. How often are you going to have Pendulum Monsters in the grave? Not that often. You don't even want them to be there, so no. Uh, next up, we got two members of the Shark Archetype. Even though the Shark Archetype's not really a thing, but you know what I mean. We got Righty Hand and Lefty Hand Shark. These are manga cards, if you couldn't tell by that artwork, man. Uh, but what these cards do is Right Hand Shark, when it's normal summon, you can add Lefty Shark from deck to hand. If this card's in the graveyard and you have the monsters, you can summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. And an exceed monster that was summoned using only water monsters, including this dude, cannot be destroyed by battle. So the idea is you have this dude, and you exceed summon it with this dude. Uh, not that dude. This dude, Left Hand Shark. Which, when special summoned from the grave, it becomes level 4. And once per turn, and say, you can only use these effects once per turn. If you control Right Hand Shark, while this card's in the hand or grave, you can summon it. So, i.e., you get to uh, bring it back and make a level 4 if it's in the grave. And then you can special summon it, ban it and leave the field. And the Exceed monster used in this thing cannot be destroyed by card effects. So basically, you make something like Bahamut Shark or, you know, level 4 uh, number, you know, water Exceed monsters. Um, I'm sure there's other options. Honor Arc is a good option. But yeah, combine these two in a shark build or whatever. And just roll with it. Have fun with yourself. Uh, last card we need to talk about today. Uh, I want to just talk about one of these. One more thing about these two. They're pretty dang cool. I like them. They're also very, they're, they're just they're my they're my favorites. They're my favorites, man. But yeah, one last card today. A new tin dangle Dole's level five dark fiend. I don't think I mentioned these dudes' stats, but they don't really matter. Uh, but what this card does. You can, it's a flip effect monster, set a spell trap from deck to grave. I don't remember how tin dangles work, but I'm pretty sure they have a nasty trap they can play from the grave, so that's already good. If this card is sent from hand or deck to the grave, you can target a tin dangle in the grave, except for itself, summon it face down. All right, pretty good. Get your tin dangles set so you can use their effects. And a tin dangle link monster using this as material can make a second and third attack during the battle phase. So basically make the, the Hound. I think that's what this is called. I don't remember. I, I've never played tin. Yeah, this thing. Acute Cerberus. Uh, yeah, you can make it um, you can make it 3,000 and have it attack up to three times if you use this thing. So cute in theory. I don't like that it's level 5, but again, I don't know much about tin dangles. So maybe it's easy for them to summon level 5 monsters. But regardless, that is all of our report of the lucky, or not the lucky draws, that's a different show. Card Talks is over for now. We looked at some cards. I definitely like the Supernova, and I hope you guys liked it as well. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite card is in the description. The, not the description. I can't talk today. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and I will see you guys again next time with some more card talks. Take care, everybody.